Hello everyone, this is Sir Brian Orlason Cordova. Welcome back to another calculus class. Now we will continue our topic about uh, the graphing of curves. This is part 2 where we will discuss the mean value theorem and the increasing and decreasing functions. So we have the first theorem for this topic. We have the Rolle's theorem. Suppose that the function y is equal to f of x is continuous over the closed interval a to b and differentiable at every point on its interior, so that is a to b, open interval, okay. if f of a is equal to f of b, so meaning that if you own the values of function are equal, so at these equal points, so equal yung values of y, so same height, then there is at least one number c on the open interval a to b at which the slope f prime of c is equal to zero. So yung slope niya magkakaroon ng horizontal. Since this is equal, meron tayong curve, there is at least one. So pwedeng isa lang or pwedeng multiple. Okay? So meron tayong dalawang point na parehas yung height. It's either pababa or, pa, or nasa taas. Magkakaroon tayo ng more than one or at least one na ang slope ng curve dun sa point na yon is zero. So this one is isa lang dito. Since mayroon siyang wave, nagkaroon tayo ng multiple points na yung slope at those points are zero. So the mean value theorem, suppose that the function y is equal to f of x is continuous over a closed interval a to b and differentiable on the intervals interior. So same din dun sa rule theorem. Given that uh, curve of the function y is equal to f of x, yung uh, intervals natin is from a to b, then there is at least one point c on the open interval from a to b at which f of b minus f of a over b minus a, this is actually the slope of the second line dun sa ating interval. So end points ng ating interval, f of b at f of a. This is actually the slope. Bakit? Because f of b minus f of a is this height. So this is the rise. And b minus a is this distance, which is the run. So rise over run, this is a slope. It is equal to the slope at some point c. So slope niya at point c. So we have that equal. So parallel yung slopes nila. So equal yung slopes. So that is the tangent. So this states that, on average, states that uh, yung slope na second line connecting the endpoints of the interval of, on the curve is equal to slope of a tangent line on a sum value C. So there is a physical interpretation for that. So itong slope na second is equal to the average change in F over the closed interval A to B. And yung F prime of C is the instantaneous change. So example, if a car accelerating from zero takes 8 seconds to go 352 feet, so yung distance na travel niya in 8 seconds ay 352 feet, its average velocity for 8 seconds interval is, so divide natin yung distance to get the average dun sa 8 seconds. So that is 44 feet per seconds or 30 miles per hour. So the, the mean value theorem says that at some point during the acceleration, the speedometer must read exactly 30 miles per hour or 44 feet per seconds. So for graphing that, we have so the time and distance. So given that meron tayong curve of the speed, so ito yung second line from 0 to 8 seconds so that is the time na ten travel so average speed niya is this one and the instantaneous change at some point yung speedometer must read exactly 30 miles per hour or 44 feet per seconds so from 0 up to that point meaning at some point umabot ng 30 miles per hour yung kanyang uh, speedometer then increasing and decreasing functions a function that is increasing or decreasing on an interval is said to be monotonic so it's either increasing 
or decreasing, monotone. Either pababa lang yung function or increasing or pataas. Suppose that f is continuous on the closed interval a to b and differentiable on the open interval a to b. If f prime of x is greater than 0 at each point of x on the open interval, then f is increasing on a to b. So meaning that yung slope na at each point greater than 0, so meaning pataas yung uh, tangent line on all points, then f is increasing. And if the slope or f prime of x is less than 0, so bababa. So the function f is decreasing on all points of the interval. So bababa na siya na bababa. So let's try to find the critical points of function f of x is equal to x cubed minus 12x minus 5. And identify the open intervals on which f is increasing and on which f is decreasing. So, hanapin natin what part of the interval. Okay. So, as a solution, so to find the critical points, let's get the first derivative by using the first derivative theorem. So, f prime of x is 3x square minus 12x. No, 12 na lang. Now, equate this first derivative into 0 para makuha natin at which yung critical points ay magkakaroon ng slope na 0. 3x squared minus 12 is equal to 0. So, transpose negative 12. So, 12 is equal to 3x squared. Dividing both sides by 3, we have 4 is equal to x squared. Therefore, square root of 4 is either x is equal to positive 2 or negative 2. So, kung papakita natin yung graph, we have this one. So, hahatiin natin ngayon yung domain which is all real numbers, so hindi naman identified dito, what are the open intervals. So from negative infinity hanggang negative 2, and yung from negative 2 up to positive 2, then positive 2 up to positive infinity. So the intervals would be this one. All values of x from negative infinity up to negative 2. So itong points na to. Another one is negative 2 up to positive 2. So all values of x dun sa pagitan ng dalawa. And all x from positive 2 up to positive infinity. Now, let's evaluate the f prime. So, yung pinakamalapit na pwede natin evaluate. f prime of negative 3, which is uh, closest dun sa negative 2, that is positive 15. Therefore, yung sign niya is positive. Since positive or greater than 0 yung f prime, the behavior would be increasing. So, nakikita naman natin, papataas yung takbunong curve at the interval. So yun, that is the slope positive f prime. Then dito naman, we have yung pinakagitna na lang kunin natin. f prime of 0 is negative 12. So negative yung kanyang sign. Then the slope would be decreasing. So pababa siya sa x is equal to 0. Then from ano ba yung closest? Uh, 2, that is f prime of 3, which is equal to positive 15. And that is positive. And at this interval, the graph is increasing. So we have this one. Okay. So the first derivative test for local extrema, if f prime changes from negative to positive at point C, then f has a local minimum at that point C. If f prime changes from positive to negative at C, so babalik na naman, then f has a local maximum. So, from positive to negative, big, ibig sabihin, papataas ka na, bigla kang bababa. So, nasa maximum ka na. Ganon din naman yung sa negative to positive. Bababa ka, bigla kang tataas, then you have a local minimum. If f prime does not change sign at that point, that is, f prime is positive on both sides, or nag-negative ka, nag-negative pa uli, then f has no local extremum on or at that point C. So, wala siyang local maximum or local minimum. So, from the graph, so we have here uh, absolute minimum at the endpoint A. So, yung f prime natin is greater than 0. So, papataas yung slope ng bawat points. Then, uh, pagdating dito, f prime is 0. So, the slope is horizontal. Then, katabi niya is f prime is positive again. So, positive, naging positive uli rito sa next interval. 
So there is no extremum or extreme values because tumaskaw pa ulit. Then at this point, we have a local maximum where f prime is zero. f prime dito sa third interval is negative because f prime is less than zero. So from positive to negative, you have a local maximum. And at that point, f prime zero is at c sub 2. So that is your local maximum. Then at the next interval, you have f prime is greater than zero. From negative, naging positive you have a local minimum where f prime is zero. Then from positive, nag negative ole, then you will have a maximum. But this time we have the absolute maximum where f prime is undefined because of the rapid change in the slope. This is a piecewise defined function where this one is their connection. And then we have also, an, and at this point, no extremum because f prime from negative, magiging negative uli. So, bababa ka lang uli. And at the end point, you have a local minimum. Okay? Local minimum lang siya because the absolute minimum is at the other end. Example, find the critical points of f of x is equal to x raised to one third times x minus 4. Identify the open intervals on which f is increasing and decreasing. Find the functions local and absolute extreme values so as a solution so number one is finding the critical points so given that f of x is given so pwede natin itong distribute to make a simpler function x raised to 4 thirds minus 4 x raised to 1 third where yung f prime of x natin is now can be uh, performed ng mas madali so we have a power rule. 4 thirds times x raised to 1 third minus 4 over 3 because we have 4 and we have 1 third. So 4 times 1 third raised to negative 2 thirds because 1 third minus 1 is two, negative 2 thirds. So to find its zeros, simplify this back to uh, a product. So we have 4 over 3 times x raised to negative 2 thirds, so common factor, pamatitra is x minus 1. Now we have 4 times x minus 1 over 3 times x positive na siya, so 2 thirds, x raised to 2 thirds. So from here, we are going to find our critical points by finding uh, kung saan siya mag zero or saan siya magiging undefined. And those are x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 0. So f prime of 1 is 0 because 1 minus 1 is 0. And may value tayo dito. And f prime of 0 is undefined because nasa denominator yung x. So x is equal to 0 is, this will become undefined. So the f this is the graph of the function y is equal to x raised to 1 third times x minus 4. So, yung critical points natin is yun yung division ng intervals. So, for all x less than 0 and x in between 0 and 1 and all x greater than 1. So, doon sa unang interval natin, we have a negative slope, pababa. So, decreasing yung function. And from 0 to 1 is pababa pa rin. So decreasing pa rin siya dun. and on the right side of 1, yung curve natin is positive. So increasing na siya. Okay? And yung slope ang uh, tinitignan natin dito, eh, that is actually the f prime or the first derivative. So for the number line, so yung critical points natin is 0 and 1. So yung red line is decreasing and yung blue line is increasing. And that's all for this discussion. See you on part three of graphing of curves. Thanks.